Hello guys, as you know, I am Navin Reddy. So today we'll talk about something called as DSC, DSCP and DNS. Now, as you know, we have already covered this practical of DSCP, but now uh, in this tutorial, I will talking about DSCP and DNS. Okay, so it, it's much easier than the last practical because in last practical of DSCP, as we have uh, seen, it's a router configuration, right? In router, we have configured a DSCP, but what we can do here is we can we can create a, a DSCP server so that it will make our work easy. So take a machine here and you can take a switch because we need to connect this to a machine and a server. So take a switch, oh, hold on, yeah, take a switch here. And again, we need a router because uh, again, uh, maybe we have to connect our network with different network in future, not for this practical. So still, we'll take a router so that I can assign a gateway also. So this machine is connected and this one is connected. Again, I want a network as it's my network should be 182.168.1.0. So I want this network, right? So my gateway will be 1.1. .1. So go to your configuration, go to fast Ethernet. And here I have to assign 182.168.1.1. .1. And your mask is this, you have to on it. So once you say on, this channel is on now. Now what I need in this practical is when I click on this machine and when I go for desktop configuration, I need a I need a dynamic IP. So when I click on DSCP, it's showing me fail. It should be failed. Yeah, it should be failed. Yeah, because we don't have a DSCP server here. So what I need is I need a DSCP server. So go to your machine, go to your desktop uh, d servers and your server. Now, uh, what I need from this server, is this should this server should be DHCP server, okay? And go to this. Now go to your desktop and yeah, yeah. Go to this. Uh, first, we'll connect this so that uh, it will make our work easier. So go to this server. Go to this again. I need a IP address for this machine. So I need to. Dot one sixty eight dot one dot two because again gateway is used for one dot one we will assign this one dot two and DNS default gateway will be one and two dot one sixty eight dot one dot one dot yeah we'll assign it as one dot yeah one and a DNS server let it be DNS server one two dot one sixty eight dot one dot fifty five so then or we can go for any DNS so so this is my IP for DNS again you can go you can go for any DNS IP and close it. Now, what to on your DSCP server, first you should make sure uh, all these default services are off. So off your HTTP uh, and on your DSCP. Before on, go for pool. Let me name uh, this pool as Navin, as my name. And here default gateway. I will go for default gateway as, uh, default gateway? Yeah, it's 182.168.1.1. And this is 182. Dot one sixty eight dot one dot fifty five, and I need to start from. Let's start from two. So uh, let's not start from three. I got to already used. Let let it be from one only. So it will assign a IP which is required, which is which it will get. And then TFTP, we know we don't need TFTP, so off. We need DNS, off. We need we need all this, we don't need. So I guess everything is set up here. So, what do I get in DSCP? It's starting, is yeah, it's starting. I've not added DSCP. Oh, what a, what a mess. Yeah. Again, I have to do it. It's the same thing. Make sure you add your DSCP when you do it. So, 182.168.1.1. And it is 182.168.1.0, dot dot oh, it was 55. Start, you can go with to any number, and you have to say add. Yeah, this is important. You have to add what I missed earlier. And then you have to on your DSCP. So once you say your DSCP on, wait for two or wait, wait for five seconds, and then you can test your connection. So go to your machine, configuration, and when you say DSCP, now we are getting DSCP as 1.3 because 1.2 is used for DSCP. Okay, this DSCP is 1.2, this is 1.3. So what I got from this machine is 1.2.168.1.3. .1 .1 
Now, uh, what I need is I need a DNS server. See, uh, earlier, for, uh, let let for, let create a D, uh, HTTP server first. So this server is my HTTP server because to access any web page. Okay, so this is my HTTP server. I'm not connected yet. What we need is go to this machine, this browser. I need an HTML page with like uh, hello or hello world or hello navin. Let let suppose uh, let let create a web page which will print hello navin. Okay, to do this, if I type navin.com, so if, if I type navin.com, it should give me that page. It's not giving now because we don't have HTTP server. So to set up HTTP server. Create a HTTP server, take a default server, name it as HTTP server, and connect this. Once you connected, you have you need a IP address, so we'll assign this IP address 182.168.1.4 because it is not not used. So default is 182.168.1.1, and DNS is 182.168.1.55. That is the IP you can assign. Again, we can do with the help of DSCP also. You can click on DSCP, it will get the IP. But I'm, ma I'm making sure there is no such problem here. Now, what we need to do is we need to uh, we need to create a web page. So again, I can use the default web page, or I can create my own page here. So what I can I do is I can just delete all this mess and. And as you know, this we have some HTML tags to work with. So body body. Yeah, it's in question mark. Yeah, in this, I want to display as h1 tag as hello Navin. I look like then h1 close, and then we have to finish it. And now it's your uh, already we have a HTTP server as on uh, DNS, DNS, everything should be off. Only we are using HTTP now. Close this as even as as you can see, this is on now. To access this, go to your web browser. Now you cannot access it with, with the help of navin.com because still it is it it has it don't have a domain name. So what we can do is we can access the same thing with the help of IP address. So one dot four, I guess. Yeah, you can see it's hello navin. So that 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 was the IP address of your HTTP server. But what I need is when I type navin.com, it should give me. That means I need a, I need to create a lookup table or I to create a DS, uh, DNS server here. So DNS server is responsible to connect my to connect my IP address and domain name. So this is my DNS server. Again, DNS server will need an IP address. First, we'll connect this using yeah. We need to connect this first. So connect your server and this one. Oh, now this this is the basic problem with your switch because switch provides you only four ports. Go to your switch, keep it off, and connect extra ports. So one all ports are free so you can use any number of ports so. and on it will take some time it will take some time to get on okay so it is very slow so connect this to this now it will get connected now go to this server you require an ip address again you can use dscp but i'm making sure it's not it will work so perfectly one dot let's give it as six oh the server was 55 right if you remember and the uh, Default is 182.168.1.1. Again, DNS is 182.168.1.55. Okay, now close this. Now we have to on DNS server. I don't want this server to be FTP, HTTP server. To make it off. I don't want this to be DSCP. I don't. I want this to be a DNS server. So now, first, you have to assign an IP a name, which is Navin.com. An IP address for Navin.com is 182.168.1.4. Once it is done, you have to say add and on. That's it. Now, as you can see, we have configured our DNS server also. So to check if it, it is working or not, go to your web browser. Now type Navin.com, and you can see we have hello Navin. So this is this is how you can work with your practical of DSCP and DNS. I hope you uh, liked it and if you have any doubts please make uh, please comment and please subscribe for the for the videos thank you so much